Adolf. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I can do this. Russ! Of course you can. So you're gonna get out there and you're gonna have a great time, okay? So I'm from New Zealand, I'm Māori. The half on my mother's side of the family, Russian Jews. I wanted to tell a story where it was a film set in World War II which dealt with all of the things we're used to, but really from children's perspective. Hi, Adolf. Cigarette? Oh, no thanks, I don't smoke. Who are you talking to? This 10-year-old's getting absolutely terrible advice from an imaginary friend who is a version of Adolf Hitler. And because imaginary Adolf comes from the mind of a 10-year-old, he can only know what a 10-year-old knows. You imagine Hitler as a complete buffoon who really knows nothing about anything. Let's get a book and let's go. Libraries are dumb. So this 10-year-old finds this Jewish girl in their attic. And then it was this whole kind of complex thing where they couldn't tell the mother and they strike up a real friendship. Taika has a way about him. His sensibility is everything from Mel Brooks to Marx Brothers. Rob Esler, you're looking fetching as usual. Oh. I was working with Chris Hemsworth. He had just finished working with Taika on Thor and was just talking about how incredible this magical script was that Taika had written. It's such a beautiful, funny gem of a script. You two seem to be getting on well. She doesn't seem like a bad person. <laughs> I think Taika's done a great job in, in managing to sort of take something that on the surface seems so bleak and kind of inject it with humour and emotion and heart. I wanted to make sure that it didn't just seem like I was making a weird comedy amongst a really traumatic, violent and tumultuous time in human history. It's very easy to get caught up in this idea that, oh, you're entertaining people with laughs and with these ridiculous moments. Exactly. Wait. No. I just had to make sure that I wasn't letting that get the better of the story and that take over essentially what was the main message, which is we need to be more tolerant and spread more love and less hate. Nothing makes sense anymore. Yeah, I know. It's definitely not a good time to be a Nazi.